anyone in politics believes that the Jewish vote matters. And the reason it matters is, first of all, Jews turn out and vote in high numbers. There's a, one estimate that as many as 85% of all Jews vote in presidential election. So uh, the, uh, that's one reason they uh, Jewish vote matters. Second reason is Jews historically contribute in high amounts uh, to political parties, both to the Democrats and to the Republicans. This year is an exception in that the Republican candidate, a very small percentage, less than 10%, of his money comes from Jews. Third point is that Jews happen to live in states that any successful candidate wants to carry in a presidential election. Florida is the famous example, a very close state, uh, divided. Southern Florida votes like the North, and Northern Florida votes like the South. Um, and that's a rule of Florida. Very close, and the Jewish vote in a close state matters. But Ohio, Pennsylvania, even North Carolina, uh, all critical states uh, in 2016 certainly have certain um, uh, Jewish uh, votes. And the last reason why a lot of attention is paid to the Jewish vote is that until this year, this year, I think, will go down either as an exception or as a shift in Republican Party strategy. But for some years now, the Republican Party um, had a strategy of trying to shift Jews away from the Democratic uh, uh, Party. Uh, the argument was that um, uh, the Democratic Party was growing increasingly anti-Israel that it would be like the Labour Party in England, or the Liberal Party in Canada, or Australia, uh, or South Africa, all places uh, where Jews had shifted their ballots. I don't think that the Republicans' year in terms of winning Jewish voters is going to be this year. Um, first of all, Bill Clinton is enormously, was enormously popular. Uh, he won more than 80% of the Jewish vote. Uh, Hillary Clinton has very strong support in some Jewish circles. A lot of her money uh, comes from Jews. Uh, and one of the interesting features of this election has been the abandonment of the Republicans by the group of Jewish neoconservatives. Norman Podhoretz is an exception, but note that his son, John, is part of the Never Trump uh, group and and commentary, which had shifted so far Republican, is now in the Never Trump group. Elliot Cohen, the Crystals, and so on. Um, so there are certainly people who think, and again, the third parties will be important that Hillary too will crack eighty percent of the Jewish vote. One thing we know for sure, and that is that for the very first time in the whole history of the United States, America's next president will have a Jewish son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs>